Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a love message. This is a love reading for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is for you. Let us see what is happening towards you, Sagittarius. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Sagittarius sign, okay? Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for your support. Let's look into your guided message. What is the guided love message for the Sagittarius sign? Let's start with your energy checked in. And then let's look into who is connecting towards you. What is the love energy coming your way? This is for the sign of Sagittarius, please. What is the message for you guys? What can I get for the Sagittarius sign? Let us see what's coming towards you, okay? What is the guided message for Sagittarius, please? Okay, let us start the reading. So, you started up with the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. You seem to be reflecting King of Swords. You could be overthinking Sagittarius, King of Swords, yep, Three of Wands. You know, for some of you guys, in terms of love and relationship or dating or getting to know, I can feel that you're overthinking or overanalyzing your person or situation. You're too focused into the future that you're forgetting to enjoy the connection. Yep, Three of Wands. Something tells me that you've got someone maybe you are in a relationship maybe you've got a love interest right now i mean it's good to plan the future but also it is nice to be in tune with what is what is in front of you because the king of swords the eight of swords something tells me that you're overthinking you're over analyzing your person if you're over analyzing or overthinking about your person you're killing the vibe you are you're not enjoying Ten of Wands. Um, this is predictive. It hasn't happened yet. I feel like you're about to like snap. Ten of Wands like, okay, I'm going to walk away. I don't like you. Because you were overthinking. You're overanalyzing them. You know what? One thing I've learned um, in the last three to six months. What you think of your person is your perception. You don't know. You don't know. Something tells me that whatever you're... Ju when you think... I don't know. But I'm kind of picking up like... You're overanalyzing them, you're overthinking about them, and you're creating thoughts. You're creating thoughts that is influencing your feelings towards them, and it's a jinx towards having fun. Dating, getting to know should be fun. Loving should be fun. And you will, you know, kill in the vibe, Sag. Overthinking will remove the happy vibe the loving vibe the flirting vibe something tells me the person the romantic situation that you want it isn't it's not exactly moving the way you want it to be and sometimes when we want things to move the way we want it to be we put control we put control if it doesn't move we try again we pressure it doesn't move we pressure again something tells me that you did try to influence, to move it your way, but it's not. So you're overanalyzing now. There was something that you did in the past to trigger for your person to action the way you want them to action. Mind you, that is you. Anything that you expect them to do and they don't do it, you're only hurt. That's control. That's pressure. Okay? I don't think this, I mean, I feel like you started this. Sometimes, look, I'm not calling you off, my darling Sagittarius. Sometimes we don't know that we're doing this unless someone pinpoints that. As your reader, I'm kind of think I'm, I'm seeing in here, overanalyzing, overthinking. And it would lead you to just snap, snap, <laughs> ten of wands. You snap, you walk away, you surrender, or you pick a fight because of your expectation not them so you're killing the vibe don't do that there's some love in here look at that knight of cups seven of pentacles 
instead of overanalyzing, overthinking, why don't you grow it? Why don't you grow and plant the seed? Why don't you make this person madly fall in love with you? Then overanalyzing them, then overthinking about them, then putting an expectation that they should do this. Why don't you do it? Whatever you're thinking them to do, why don't you do it? Regardless of you're a male or a female, actually, I'm going to a point right now that is, this channel is gender neutral. Regardless of your gender, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to say, say it, do it, instead of expecting them to do it for you. They can't read your mind. I can read your energy, but they can't. Seven of Pentacles, so instead of focusing on them, overanalyzing them, overthinking about them, that they should do this, that this, this timeline, this and that, why don't you just do it? Do what you want them to do, and maybe you can accelerate it. Okay? Looking into astrology, I'm a little bit fierce today. Um, let's look at the star for you, my darling Sagittarius. It's We started Aries season, spring equinox, and... Ooh, look at that. It's a very trailblazing week. If you find the last 10 days boring, seven to the last 7, 10 days boring... I feel like I'm sick. The last seven, ten days, I'm sick because it's so slow. It's gonna jump start. There's a trailblazing vibe. The Aries, the Aries, which is a fire sign, your cousin sign, will push you. So, you just don't snap. Don't walk away right now. I'm telling you, ten of once, do not walk away right now. This is a time where it's just getting hot in here. Okay, Sag. There's a love vibe in here. I could feel it. There's a love. There's a, there is a, there's a love coming alive. Don't snap. Don't pressure them to do what you want. If you want to say something, you want to invite, do it. Do it your own. Don't, don't put the pressure to them. Do it yourself. Okay? Now, the person, the situation that you desire. Four of Cups. You know, they're wondering, why is Sagittarius cold? <laughs> this person is like, why is Sagittarius cold, aloof? snobby <laughs> why Sagittarius block me <laughs> four of cups yeah and look at that the justice cards in reverse um you know there's a person romantic interest who's wondering why are you cold why are you mad at me why are you changing your mind why Sagittarius you're torturing a poor soul out there knight of pentacles so so they realize you're connecting, you know what, Sag, your person, they could be, I don't know, but I feel like, I feel like your person is kind, but confused, or I would say a free spirited. I'm kind of picking up your, your person is free spirited. You know, they, they live in the moment. They, they're not so much futuristic when it comes to love. They're just enjoying your company. I'm kind of picking up that your person enjoys your company. Your person enjoys your energy. Your person enjoys you. And for some reason, something happened. It snap, Or it's about to snap again for some of you. Please don't go there. Um, your person, the current energies of your person is that they're wondering what's changed. They're wondering why you block them. They're wondering how they can follow you. Knight of Pentacles, they want to follow you, Sagittarius, whoever this person is, they want to follow you, Knight of Pentacles, maybe you block someone, ignore someone, or maybe you're cold to somebody, to someone, but they want to follow you, I will follow you, follow you where, yeah, Queen of Pentacles, because you're their queen, you're their king, um, whoever this person is, I really feel like this person is free-spirited, no ego, no drama, they're just taking a break, like there's someone out there there is a soul who wants you who's i would say madly deeply in love with you but they're just slow like okay i'm just gonna take my time in here but i will follow you it means that they're gonna follow up with you they're gonna connect with you they're not apologetic i don't think this person will say sorry to you i think they just want to connect with you like this person i can tolerate your attitude look at you sag look at that swag like this person, they will let go of ego, but they won't say sorry because they believe you're also, you're also stubborn. Yep. 
this person knows like you are drama queen or king you're also stubborn they will follow you they will make the move but don't expect them to apologize because they believe that you've got some you also have you have participated something into the connection why somehow it it fizzle out something like that i don't i don't know but i'm kind of picking up that if they're not gonna say apology if you're expecting them to say sorry i don't think they will say that i think their form of action or letting go of ego it's i don't know i feel like this person they don't want to they don't want to have a dramatic end that's where i'm so sorry no i i don't sense that way because they they've got the emperor card they will take charge they will take the lead their way of apology, their their way of expressing they they miss you, they like you, they're sorry is their move. Like read between the lines, something like that. Yeah, two of pentacles. You know this person is scared that you've got issue. Like they wish they know what exactly do you want. Something tells me this person would like to read your mind. Be verbal, Sagittarius. I think this person is a good match for you. Like, if you really want something for them to do, say it. Like, they want to read your mind. They want to offer you a Knight of Cups in here. They don't want drama. They're a little bit frustrated. Whoever this person is, the Devil card. <laughs> Look at that. They are a little bit frustrated. But they still want you. Yeah, Queen of Wands. I mean, you are their Queen of Wands. You are their Queen and the King. You are the fire that lights up their day, their life. They will never forget you. But they're a little bit busy, Sag. I sense this person is annoyed or busy because you're hard to, you're stubborn, but they're madly in love with you. Something to do with, they want to understand you. And I was like, how can you understand Sagittarius? They don't understand themselves well yet. Yet. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> I'm just kidding, guys. Something's going to be reset. I think you will realize something, Sagittarius. You will realize the power of... Because you're moving fast. Okay. Your reading tells me that you're moving too fast. There is power. There is power in staying in the moment. Yep. There is power in being alone. There is power in staying in the moment and moving slow. There is strength in slow motion. Because in slow motion, you see everything magnified. So for you, Sag, you might need to slow motion. Because you have missed something in the past. And that will take you back to your person. Something tells me that this person... You left them five of pentacles in here <clears throat> yeah judgment card hermit card something tells me once you and this person it may take a bit of time because there's a hermit card the current energies of this person is that they do want to follow you they're a little bit frustrated because you're hard to understand but you're also hard to get Sorry, you're hard to understand, but you're also hard to forget. And so they need, like this person know, that they need to move. And they don't want to lose you. You're hard to forget. You're hard to understand. Your, your connection is complicated, but very unforgettable. Let's put it that way. Like this person somehow it feels like there's a lots of, to be with you, lots of bolts and nuts to, to, to connect. Okay, but they're willing to do that because you're unforgettable. You set their heart on fire, the Queen of Wands. You fight, you make up, and still they've got so much fire within you, passion and interest with you. They would rather stay with you and build than to leave you. I don't know, this person is very passionate with you. Even in the times that they don't like you, they still feel the passion burning in them. Sagittarius and this person the knight of cups yeah like this person you're stubborn Sag but you're hard to forget so I'm gonna choose to return to you to connect with you and to understand you the devil card the queen of wands that's probably why my intuition is telling me to tell you Sag to act slow motion because only in slow motion you will understand 
the kind of love that you and this person will be will build you know we we act different how do i explain this you have so much passion you and this person you guys are very passionate that's why you need your dynamic full of fire and passion this is like you are the queen of wands this is the the emperor card you're dealing with an emperor imagine you're the queen of wands you're very you're very passionate jumpy you tell stories passionately you live life to the fullest you're a sagittarius and you're dealing with an emperor an emperor manage an empire an emperor is annoyed with someone noisy <laughs> sorry guys i don't know why i say that but look this is your person they manage an empire and then this is you they like you but you're so noisy okay like oof but they still like you they love every part of you sagittarius so try to level up try to be in their level try to try to be quiet and listen to them i'm kind of paying i don't know this is there's a you're full of passion but there is a difference when it comes to your personality you guys are both alpha and dominating this is a very alpha passionate energy your person is alpha introvert you are alpha extrovert i hope it's making sense so you should share the stage you could be more talkative and active and tell stories and very passionate very creative artistic fash fashionable your person is not like that but they've got some move and groove that you'll also fall in love because in this reading the queen of wands this is you you're showcasing them this is me you're gonna love me this emperor card yeah agree you are the one muse or trophy or champion that i would like to keep because you entertain me but you also noisy you burn my ears so something in here that i don't know they find you noisy <laughs> i don't know why i'm picking up that vibe try to be quiet and listen to them share the stage i'm also picking that up five of pentacles look this person is gonna surrender five of pentacles i don't want us to abandon what we connected like the emperor please sag let's not abandon what we what we started if you want your dynamic if you and you and this person will connect you guys are so passionate full of fire you guys will connect and if you want to connect with this person you've got to act slow motion slow motion because you guys are both fire it's very fiery it's very fire you know it's very fiery and fire if it fire it could fire and fire in flame you know so you gotta move slowly slow motion so you understand them and something tells me for some of you guys speak slowly surrender to love and move slowly that's the key okay surrender to love and move slowly surrender to love and slow motion that's the key that's the key that's the intuitive message for you okay so thank you Sagittarius thank you for connecting with me thank you so much for spending time with me and if you would like to further connect with me the private reading the merchandise everything is processed in the website thank you for shouting me a coffee thank you for writing me a love notes it means so much to me I wake up in the morning and I read your love notes I look forward to that thank you again guys you have a great day bye bye